Hi, Ryan here with another unboxing. This time we've got Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription that you can order online and you can do it in one, three, or six month installments. Now, enough of me being tacky and let's get to the unboxing. All right, enough of that. Um, the theme for this month, I believe, was fear. And um, for those of you that use the Loot Crate app, um, stay off of it when they're getting ready to mail out boxes. Because uh, for the most part, uh, this kind of got ruined for me because I use the Loot Crate app. I made a video trying to warn people that use the Loot Crate app, you know, don't post anything out of respect. Or if you do, do it in the comments, you know, but whatever. I think I'm just going to stop using the app when they're getting ready to release it. So there's my official do-do-do, and it's open, and it looks like they did another theme thing cool all right so i'll put this off to the side here and reach in and pull things out one at a time okay so without looking we've got what is this that's it. oh it's a shirt okay we have a shirt <laughs> okay now i understand what this is about so it's a little skull that's kind of cute and if you look closely enough, closer, closer, you can see it's done entirely out of cats. Oh my god, that's that's really cool. I like that. I Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. I'll have to try that on sometime. Hey, maybe now. Maybe by the end of the video. Who knows? Alright, so moving on. Next thing we got. Our official Loot Crate October 2014 Fear Button. So I will try to put that up to the camera so y'all can see it. That actually looks pretty decent right there. Loot Crate. I'm a huge fan. I've got my collection of buttons up here from all my previous crates. I know that that doesn't really show you, but yeah. You know, ooh ah, ooh ah. So this is just going to go right in with my button collection of Loot Crate boxes that I have gotten. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. Next we got... Uh, da, 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 da. survival guide how to survive a sharknado I never watched sharknado so this is a book obviously it's got some interesting stuff in here death by a snake a fun quiz <laughs> so yeah that's that's kind of creative and cool they've got a bunch of weird tidbit stuff in there for you all to check out um, yeah I'll give it a and you know what's funny this was written by Andrew Schaefer. My last name is Schaefer. No relation to this guy whatsoever. I mean, my last name's spelled differently. But you, you gotta know it's good, because it came from a Schaefer, and all the Schaefers, we gotta stick together. Even if it is Sharknado. No, no disrespect to the Sharknado fans out there. Alright, so next item we got. Ooh, pair of cool 3D retro glasses. I like that. It's like it's 1950s in here. And, just to be super tacky and cool, we'll try these on. Heck, we might even leave them on for the rest of the video. I need my glasses to see. I'm that blind. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Dude, I want to go to the movie theaters and reenact a scene from one of those awesome movies from when I was a kid. You know, where, like, so-and-so goes to the theater, and then there's a bunch of bullies there, and one of them, like in Back to the Future, I think one of the guys that was in the shop or whatever, he's wearing a pair of these as if it's cool. I just imagine if you wore these 3D glasses 24-7, it would mess with you, like not in a good way. Like my double blurred vision is going on, or, you know, already, so. Ooh. I don't know, maybe that ties into something else that's in the crate. You know, the only thing that would make these even cooler is if it, were, if it if it would have said Loot Crate right here on the side. That would have been cool. Oh well. Moving on. Next item in the box. Ooh. Oh, cool. I've been seeing on the Loot Crate GIFs uh, site, there's a bunch of these uh, um, weepy... I don't know how to describe them. I don't know the artist guy, but he does like a bunch of emo character renditions of like famous things. I've got Daryl Dixon and his brother, was it Merle? Earl? Merle. I think it's Merle. The brothers. And if you can't see it very well because there's a glare off the plastic that's covering this, oh brother indeed. 
That's awesome. That is super cool. That That's worthy of framing and like posting up on the wall. That's cool. So thank you guys. I, that, that's awesome. All right, next item we got. Um, looks like we got some slashes and bites, temporary tattoo type things. That's cool. I'm probably not going to use them, but I do have nieces and nephews that I could pass these along to, and they're perfect for them. Don't apply to sensitive skin near eyes or if allergic to adhesive, because everybody knows offhand whether or not they're allergic to adhesive. All right, uh, next thing we've got here, Curse, enjoy the game, cursevoice.com. Uh, there's a little code at the bottom there. So I have no idea what this is. Fast and free voice communication for games. I have no idea. Battleground of the Gods, Smite, I don't know. I'm not a gamer, so unfortunately that is not going to do too much for me. And I found a reason. The next item in the box, the reason for the 3D glasses. <laughs> This is kind of cool. There's a little comic book in here. Loot Crate. What does it say? Loot Crate Magazine. Fear. And the whole magazine. This must be the monthly Robert Kirkman interview inside. I don't need the glasses to read that. I've got super 3D vision already. So that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of like weird snippets in there. And if you don't know who Robert Kirkman is, I'm pretty sure he's one of the guys that created The Walking Dead. And um, if you haven't read The Walking Dead, I encourage you to go out and read it. It's a really good uh, comic book. If you don't watch the show, you should watch the show. It's really good too. All right, so next item that I just grabbed out of the box, Dead Rising 3, a Loot Crate exclusive. I think that's supposed to be some sort of a locker thing. So there's that. And they put a piece of tape to keep me out of it. That way I cannot retrieve whatever is inside this teeny little shoe box. Maybe it's a tiny little pair of shoes for my cats. I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of saw sledgehammer tool thing. Oh, this is a video game related thing, so I, I would honestly have no idea what the heck it is. But... Um, I don't get it. Is it, is it. I think it's a pen. Is it a pen? Is it just a prop? I think it's just a prop. Uh, it looks like it's just a prop. We're going to assume that it is just a prop. Hamburger, something or other. It's supposed to be a locker. I don't know. It looks like it's a prop. I don't know. Um, if you guys know what the heck this thing is, I mean, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Is it just a prop or is it a pen? It feels like it could be a pen. Why doesn't the blade spin? The blade should spin so I can cut my carrots with it in style. Zzz. Who knows? But yeah, if you guys could tell me what the heck this is. I, I All I know is it's from Dead Rising 3. I'm assuming it's one of the things they use to like bash and slash the zombies. That'd be awesome. Leave me a comment below and be like, Ryan, you idiot. You should play more video games and then you might actually know what some of this stuff is. And then, you know, I might be cooler than I am. But for now, I'm just some weeping little emo boy with no love whatsoever. Alright, the next thing I'm seeing in the box is we have a comic book. A uh, Loot Crate exclusive, Walking Dead. It, does it have a number on it? 132 Happiness. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And look, it says Loot Crate right here. Because that person died while they were wearing their Loot Crate shirt. <sighs> Poor guy. At least he, could, he, you know, he went out in style. So that's pretty cool. So again, um, yeah, Robert the Kirkman's name is right up here at the top. I know it's kind of blurry. You can't really see it. But yeah, so Kirkman is associated with The Walking Dead. Hopefully not that travesty of The Walking Dead TV show. I mean, it is pretty cool and kick-ass, but the comic book is ten times better. Now, on the inside of the box, uh, there's like two more things, but I pulled them off to the side. The inside of the box, I want to show you guys this. This is every serial killer's, like, awesome dream thing. I mean, or if you just want to, like, you know, go for zombies. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. That's the inside of the box. 
I know I'm getting it like all super close, so like everyone's getting freaked out and backing away from their computer. But yeah, so there's that, and I like the way how Loot Crate has been doing these, uh, art, the artwork inside the box to make it just that much more special. That way, if kids subscribe, they got like a little play set that they can use instead of going out to the store and paying two hundred million dollars for something that looks relatively the same, you know. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Thank you, Loot Crate. All right. Um, the other thing I noticed that I got in my box was my official Loot Crate member card. So as far as I know, these are good for when you go to um, comic conventions or anything like that where Loot Crate is around or the, you know, PAX or whatever. It just happened not too long ago. But those types of things, I think you go up to them and you say, hey, I'm a Loot Crate member. Give me free stuff. And they're like, here, here's millions of dollars worth of like free merchandise because we love you. My camera's over here. So I got to like adjust. We love you. But I love you, Loot Crate. So there's that. And then the very last thing that we got in the box was a piece of candy. I'm, gl I'm grateful it was only one piece of candy. Because I don't want to pay, you know, however much I pay for the box, 20 bucks a month or whatever it is, for candy. You know, like, so one piece of candy is okay with me. I think in the last box I got the Pop Rocks. Obviously, I never opened them. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bad kid. But I promise, you know, I will make a video of me eating both of these candies. That's not it. I threw it up here and I lost it already. So, yeah, I will make a video after this of me doing the Pop Rocks Challenge. I have to get some Pepsi. That way I can, you know, live up to that superstition of, you know, don't do Pepsi and Pop Rocks. Because then you'll, like, head will explode. And then I will do this little toxic waste barrel of sour candy. I like sweet and sours, so that's good for me. So yes, um, that's everything that is in the box, you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please, as always, feel free to leave me a comment below. I am wearing my Hannibal shirt that I got from another website, part of a grab bag, in the spirit of fear. Because everybody loves fear. But yes, um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, have a great day. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Um, watch out for those kids and don't steal too much candy from them. You give yourself a tummy ache and you'll get, you know, cavities and no one likes that. So, from Ryan, signing off. Thanks for watching my video. Peace.